Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome to Papers, Please. Welcome back for long-term viewers, because those who've been watching for a long time would know... Oop, bump my mic. I played this on the channel way back. Oh, uh, oh man. Wait, 20... No, that's in-game day. I was like, I didn't play this in 2017. <laughs> I wasn't doing chat videos back then. Um, but we're actually... This is that old playlist is gonna be marked as old because it's way back when I did it, and this is gonna be a brand new playthrough starting here. Ha ha! The old playthrough I never finished, I had to get end early. <coughs> Congra. Or, uh, okay, it's not gonna continue on its own. I had to end early due to uh, scheduling issues and my life being busy. But now I'm doing much better with all of that, so yeah. Um. <clears throat> Congratulations! The October Labor, Labor Day Lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. For immediate placement, report to Ministry of Admission at Gruston Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Gruston. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Glory to Atstotka. Uh, the Truth of Artstatska, November 23rd, 1982. Gruston Border Checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can Ministry of Admissions keep, up, keep us safe? Families to reunite. Entertainment, weather. No charge for newspapers. November 23rd, 1982. So we just jumped into things really fucking fast there. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with Papers, Please, it is a border guard simulation game set in a fictitious country, or a fictitious world, loosely inspired by our own post-World War II world. Now, let me see. We are at Stotkin, and we are bordering with Kalechia. Uh, there's a lot of lore that you can learn as you play if you pay attention to small conversations, news articles, and the like. From what I understand, we were previously at war with Kalechia, and the war ended, I believe, with with uh, Greston being chopped in two, where in East Greston, West G Greston is part of Kalechia, in a manner that's meant to uh, sim be similar to um, the East and uh, West Berlin situation, I believe. Um, and we are a, com a, a post. We are a communist state in this uh, uh, in the new world, you know. Um, words. And, as you saw, we got selected for our job, so let's just get right to it. We, are we, guys, we got, in the labor pool, selected for it to be... I can use words. Selected to be border guards. I just realized I'm, I have the wrong keyboard on my lap. Good thing I realized that before I accidentally hit the stop record button. Because, uh, I got two keyboards. One for the gaming PC, one for the streaming PC. Ugh, just getting nice and comfortable in my new desk job. <laughs> The, the UI of this game is great. I actually saw some developmental stuff uh, recently, and the UI, the UI was something he spent forever working on, the developer. This game was made by one guy, I believe. Arstotka. The 23rd of... November? Yeah, it's November, but it was the October poll, and it took until the end of November to get us here, huh? Uh, 1982. Uh, again, fictional world, but 1982 it is meant to imply that the technological advancement is roughly similar to our 1982. So, you know, think the 80s. We are, we are... Communist Russia? Communist Germany? I don't know. I think we're supposed to be, like, East Germany, kind of. Um... The, like, the, the Russian-controlled East... We're supposed to be, like, the, like, Communist Germany vibe, I believe. Um, Ministry of Admission, Official Bulletin. Inspector, welcome to your new position at Greston Border Checkpoint. Stamp passport entry visa and return documents to entrant. Entry, restri entry is restricted to Arstotzkin citizens only. Deny all foreigners. Glory to Arstotzka, MOA. So, 
Uh, that's a Upstock can passport. And controls for my booth right there and copy of the newspaper. You can tuck that right over here. So this sort of represents what's in front of us on the ground, like directly in front of us on our desk. And then this represents us looking up and forward and at another section of our desk that's a little elevated. So imagine that all of this is below this section here. And this is an aerial view of our workbench at the checkpoint. Right now, during this moment, time isn't ticking forward, so I can take my time in order to get things positioned however I want. And as soon as I start, this clock will start ticking, and when it come fully loops around, I believe it has to loop around one time. The little, like, uh, minute hand there. Uh, and that represents a full day of work passing, because time is compressed in a weird video gamey way. So, if we flip through our book... Um... I'm just trying to familiarize all of you with my checkpoint so you can know what is happening because I'm not going to be able to talk a lot once the game begins because I'm going to be under a time pressure. So I can put my folded up uh, documentation here and I will not have to look at it for the rest of the day pretty much. This is a printed transcript of anything people say to me. Um, over here, I can deny or approve. This is a security gate. And this is, this is my uh, Ministry of Admission Rules and Regulations for Inspector. Contents, basic rules, regional map, and booth info. So these are quick tabs to get to sections. And I can click the bookmark to go back to the front. Let's just flip through page by page. So these are the rules. Entrants must have a passport. Only our stats can citizens. These are all the countries on the world map, and we are Stotka. And if we go through, Antegria which, if we look, is way off over here. Uh, they've got all of their different seals. Every single thing has its seals, its passport reference, its cities that they cut, or its cities that they can be issued from. And we can just look at all these. Artstotka has different districts that will appear on Artstotka and Citizen ID badges when we eventually see those. But I don't think we need those yet. So you can see all of the different, yet, yeah, West Greston, Kalechia. Kalechia got control of Western Greston. So like I said, we can you can imply a lot of things based off of elements of just reading things and paying attention to stuff. Ooh, property of MOA, Glory to Arsatskar. Arsatskar Ministry of Admissions, Rules and Regulations for Inspector. I'm about to adjust my mic a little. Sorry about that. Uh, the... Oh. 1983, so this edition is supposed to be good for another year. And then it's serial number. Do not distribute under severe penalty. So yeah. Like, this is a... The, the world just suffered through some kind of large war that resulted in Gruston being divided in two. Beyond that, a lot of the elements are going to be sort of hard for us to suss out. But you can see there's where we got coast... There's ocean over here, the United Federations is along here, Oberstan is up here, and it looks like Oberstan even runs to the north of us. Very big, interesting world. We're gonna keep open to the map, and I'm gonna be able to boom, boom, whenever I need to get back to it. Oh no, wait, we, you know, we don't need the book for today. I was setting up for the way I play most days. Okay. This is, uh... Oop. Sorry, phone alarm started going off. <laughs> Alright. No, no Uh So clicking this will start the day, and this is what I click to call the next person. You can't call the next person in until the person who's in front of you is completely off this screen. You don't have to wait for them to exit the booth, you just need to wait for them to be off this section. It's a good little way to make sure you're moving people through quickly. Next. Papers, please. I'm not going to read all of the dialogue. Oh, 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 fuck. No, no, I want to approve them. I fumbled real hard. We're just going to... We're just going to... We're just going to... We're just going to... Glory to our stats. <laughs> oh, that felt like a very on-brand moment for me. <laughs> Let's just get going right away. All right. 
the people are semi-randomized. There's there's scripted characters and scripted elements. So sometimes you get a different character fulfilling the same purpose narratively because there is a narrative being played out in this. We're just not even going to pay much attention. We just need to approve our Stotkins and deny others. We want to get as many people processed on this easy day as we can in order to maximize income. We get paid $5 per approved person that was correctly approved. As soon as the person fades into color, we can open up the, the stamps and it won't force it shut again on us. Yeah, we want to approve as many of Stotkins as possible in order to get through. It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Ominous. I'm wasting my time, dammit! I need to feed my family! Okay, come on. Come on. We don't have to get it super accurate in the stamping, but I, I like to try and aim for it being good. Just because it bothers me if it's placed weird. Down here is an active counter of how many people we've correctly approved. So right now we've approved eight people, five dollars per person. If I remember right, it's five dollars per person. Sorry, it's not when the person fades into color you can open. It's when they've fully walked into the booth that you can open. Come on. Yeah, what once their silhouette is on booth, you can open the stamps. And once they're fully, if their silhouette is fully off, you can call the next person. Okay, we've helped five people. Oh, uh, you, if you all watch the clock, maybe, maybe it's once the, the small hand has made a full loop. I think that's when we leave. Correct, my, my bad. Which we're approaching that point. Yeah, when the small hand has moved from the bottom, all, looped all the way around and gone to the bottom again. Come on. I want to process as many people as I can. Uh, you know, you may be thinking, why is he stressing so hard? Because money becomes a problem when the game gets harder. The long, the the game gets harder and harder over time, and you it becomes harder and harder to earn the money you desperately need. Ah, last person. I won't get paid for them, I don't think. So we can take this actually as an opportunity to learn passports. Every country lays out its passports and sides differently. If you've been paying attention, you would know that. We can see a date of birth, sex, a picture of their face, uh, an expiration date, which you'll want to ch back check against the actual current date. Like, man. Oh, no, she's still a couple months off expiration. Or, or no, one month off expiration. Because it's day, month, year is how I have it organized. In the options menu, you can actually change how you have that arranged. Oh, it's actually a whole year till it expires. And then it's got a serial number. Uh, all this is information that will be important in la like later on as things get more and more complex. Yeah, and the, uh, that's the issuing city. Sorry, I just have a really bad hangnail. That's driving me insane. <sighs> okay. Hangnail. Has been dehanged. As the game goes, I'm going to get quieter and quieter as it gets more hectic and I'm trying to pay attention, but I'll generally be trying to constantly just say what I'm doing to give you guys something. So, this is what we do at the end of every day. We currently live in a class 8 dwelling, which is pretty fucking bad. Class 1 dwelling is the best. We have a wife, son, our mother-in-law living here, and our uncle living here. <laughs> um... So I'm assuming that's like the mother-in-law's brother. And every day we have to pay our rent. So we earn our salary, which is... 15, hang on, how many people did I help? I don't know how many people I helped. I get... 
I think it's base 15 and an additional 5 for every person you help, maybe? But then you lose rent, food, and heat, but you can choose to go without one of these. Which we're gonna go ahead and go without both for our first day. Because, you know, no one's cold, no one's hungry, and we need to save money real bad. Whew. Okay. I have some slight heartburn. I'm gonna light a scented candle. Just so I'm uh, more prepared for the days to come. Mmm, strawberry dandelion. I had a really good vanilla one that I uh, burned through and I want to try and find and buy another copy from uh, another version of it from the same brand because I got a different one from a different brand and it wasn't as good. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Days in this can be rather nerve-wracking. I'm like, we're in the early game so it's not going to be bad, but I'm just like anxious in anticipation of knowing how this game eventually becomes. I've never beaten the game. The truth of our Statka, November 24th, 1982. Creston checkpoints a success. Entry restrictions to, uh, to relax. Admit foreigners. Analysts upbeat. Increased trade and cooperation predicted. So, you know, we're, we're starting to loosen our... Again, it's a post-war time of recovery. So the country at first was just letting scattered people return home. But now that they've gotten a lot of them home, they're ready to loosen the restrictions a little, you know, let more people in, be, be more relaxed in how things work. So. I love that, dropping down, representing us getting started. Our starts can min- Our starts 24 11 1982. Ministry of Admissions Official Bulletin. Inspector. From today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. Your booth's inspection hardware is now installed. Very fun. Uh, check all passports information carefully for your discrepancies. Deny any entrance with inconsistent information. Continue. Check all pages. Inspection mode. Enter the inspect mode using the red button on your desk. While inspecting, highlight two pieces of uh, disparate information for further options. Reg rules and regulations. This post is bound by the Ministry of Admissions Rules and Regulations study. R rules and regulations. Study the rules closely. Glory to Art Stutka. So this is showing how it works. Ba bum and news. So what we can do now? Let's say we go to basic rules. Oh, I'll put, you must have a passport and all the documents must be current so we can, if somebody doesn't have a passport, we're just like, hey, where's your passport, bi passport bitch? And current means like, oh, gotta be current, so we would highlight the current date and the expiration date on their thing. So now, so to deny somebody, we need to get, or you can outright deny people. You can deny anybody, even if they have the correct stuff. There's nothing stopping you from denying people, but you only get a bonus for letting people through. So why would you just not deny people and keep letting people through the, the people you want? Because if you call people out on, hey, this is incorrect, they may be like, oh, sorry, I forgot that document. You know, like, oh, where's your passport? Sorry, I forgot it. So. We, our goal is to let in as many people as we can. Papers, please. Alright, so they're from Oberstan Regional Map. Oberstan. Uh, everything looks correct. Face matches up. Is it expired? Nope, it is not. Year is good. Okay. Approved. Go right on through, sir. Glory Tart Statska. Cause no trouble. You can distinguish a lot about your character too. To fellow Stotskans, he says glory to Stotska. To foreigners, he says cause no trouble. Antegria, distributing city, outer gross, outer gross. They are female. Is it expired? It is. Oh. Expired. Must be a typographical error. 
then go back to your country and get it sorted out. It's not our job to fix your passport. If I let somebody through who isn't allowed, I receive a fine. Uh, Impor. So you get punished when you let it through incorrect people rather than paid. Mail, it's not, oop, it's not expired. Alright, cause no trouble. Oh, fuck. Non-matching foot. Ah, oh, see, you start to miss the really obvious things after enough time. Meeting. Okay, uh, good to go. Well, hang on. Okay, yeah, they're good. You'll see me constantly flicking to certain things just to get things how I like it to move at maximum speed. Uh, everything looks good. Go ahead through. It auto closes the stamp thing when they walk out, so I don't really need to, which is nice. So bored, if you want a good time, come see me. The the pink vice, East Creston, for all your fantasies. So she's gonna work in a brothel. Alright, uh, everything looking good? Everything looking good. Sometimes people will try to use conversations to try and discuss, like, distract you. So you get, yeah, like... And sometimes they'll give you actually important information you need to pay attention to. Uh, United Federation, okay. Great Rapid, good. Not expired. Go ahead. Oh god, we had, we had a... Guy jumped over the border. Jesus. Damn. Day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Your son is sick and needs medicine. Progress is saved at the start of each day. So now we need to pay for the food and the heat, which we didn't last time because everyone's cold and hungry. But our son is also sick. Uh, so I've seen some small talk online of people theorizing that your son's sickness might actually be polio. Because in, I believe in the time period when this was set was when the polio epidemic was reaching its conclusion in the US, but was still present in Eastern Europe. I think. Don't quote me on that because I'm not super good on my history of polio. But I think that's the implication that some people have drawn is that because the, the son gets sick constantly. He's an unwell child. And some people think it might be that he needs medication to treat polio or another chronic illness of the time. Our thoughts can truth. November 25th, 1982. Terrorist strike at Greston. Collection or agitator suspected. Checkpoint lockdown. More guards, more security. November 25th, 1982. And if you look, more guards, more security. Artsatskin Ministry of Erstatka, 25 11, 1982. Ministry of Admissions Official Bulletin. Inspector, injury for now non citizens is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket. So if we go to. Okay, it's not going to tell us what an entry ticket looks like, but you can see it there. Uh, all foreigners require a valid entry ticket. Verify information before stamping passport entry visa and returning all documents to entrance. Glory Tart Stotka. So, there's another rule we have to keep out for. Foreigners require an entry ticket. I'm going to stay on the regional map, though, because that's the thing I like to stay open to. <sighs> Alright. We're going to go one more day this episode. Papers, please. Okay, so this is what an entry ticket looks like. Uh, valid on 25-11-82. It's the correct day. Okay, they're good to go through. It's a collection. Uh, West Creston, West Creston, face matches, expiration date, not expired, go ahead through. 
cause no trouble. <sighs> Papers, please. He does not have it. Uh, basic rules. Where's your entry ticket? Ah, uh, and see, that's why you want to ask. Because he had an entry ticket. Uh, oh god, regional map, though. Oberstan, Oberstan, Lauren does. Sometimes they'll have somebody make a very obvious mistake in order to make you m miss a more subtle mistake. When you call them out on the more obvious one and they are like, oh, here's the correction. Uh, okay. Oh, I can't give it back to them until I give them back the thing. Uh, they're from Impor, Impor, uh, NKO? Okay, yeah. Uh, date looks good. Come back. Or, or, or come, or she's come, come to pink voice. Sorry. I, I, I spoke at the same time as my eyes were glancing across the words. Okay. He is here on the correct day. That is good. He is from Republia. Uh, his face looks good. Correct place. Expiration. The game will usually make obvious mistakes. It won't do very subtle ones. Just... It is expired. Well, then go take it up with Republia. The game will always accept a denied stamp over an accepted one. You, so if you do denied, then accepted, or accepted, then denied, it's always denied, if there's a denial. Look, you still have a job. 25, They're from Republia. Their face looks good. Female, yep. Date looks good. Uh, okay. Be safe. Okay, regional map. Papers, please. They got the ticket. Is it? It is not the correct date. Come back on the day that the ticket says. Yeah, the ticket has to match the exact current date. Alright, 25-11-82, that's good. They're from United Federation. Uh, Christian City, Christian City, they're not expired, let them through. Alright, Oh fuck, what did I miss? Invalid gender. Okay, here you go. We go. Glory to Scotta, greatest country. Uh, um, you need a passport. Passport? A starts is so great. Passport not required, right? Passport is required. Okay, okay, I hear you. Come back again. Funny little man. You can't- you literally can't even approve him. Uh, okay, good day is good. Integria. Right. City is good. Everything looks good. So, if you look though, I made the mistake- Oh fuck, my second one! Invalid issuing city? Oh. Last warning, no penalty. You get two warnings before you start losing money. And I believe you don't get paid for the ones you're warned about. 25 11, okay. Face does not match. Face does not match. Years have been cruel. Okay, I just deny. There's no there's no way to check yet. Later on you have ways to check people if somebody's identity is valid. But I guess I don't get that yet on this day. It's just a better play it safe and deny the guy. Uh, 251182. Um, they are Integrian. Oh, oh. 
expired, buddy. Almost let him through. Let's see if we can get one more. Papers, please. Ah, oh, it starts can e nice and easy. Yeah, we got another one through. What? Invalid gender. Lost five credits. Shoot. All right. Kalechian, we can take our time now on this one. Gender's good. Not expired. All right. Go ahead through, buddy. God. So yeah, you can see. Warning issued, no penalty. Warning issued, last warning, no penalty. And then a penalty of five credits. So hang on, I helped 13 people through. Yeah, the last ones doesn't get counted. Fuck. <sighs> Salary nine, what does that mean? Oh, well, four, three of the people are best. Uh, wait. Okay, that's how many people I'm getting paid for, is nine people. That's what that is saying. And I get paid five credits per person, like I initially said. I was correct. Penalties of two, so I lose another ten bucks. Ugh, today was a rough day. Oh, well. I'd say... That'll be it for the first episode of Papers, Please. Barely even into it, and already I'm feeling stressed. <sighs> this game's gonna take years off my life. Ugh. I hope you're all enjoying the kickoff of a brand new series. Uh, I know I am. And, you know, I'll, I'll see all of you next week for more of it, you know? Um, uh, what can I recommend that's similar to Papers, Please right now? Uh, not a lot happening on my channel currently. I mean, a while ago I played Hypnosity Base Outlaw but never finished it, so, but, and I want to return to it eventually, so I'm, I'm reluctant to point people to that playthrough since it's old and unfinished from the early days of the channel. Um... Yeah, I don't know, just look around the channel. I'm sure you'll find something you enjoy. Anyway, we'll see all you next time.